Okay, good people, welcome back to the show. Whatever episode this is, I don't remember which one we're on, but staying in a hotel tonight, have really good lighting in my room, and uh, thought this would be a good time to do a video. So, uh, if you are like my son and only are interested in watching the videos of mine that have lots of music that he can dance to, feel free to skip over this one and come back tomorrow, because we're gonna do a lot of talking here. That said, for those of you that still remain, I want to talk to you about something uh, that has been very helpful to me in the last probably two years. So let's switch to a good sit down chat view for this one. All right, welcome to my hotel room focus. There we go. So for those of you who know me, um, and even actually probably most of, most of you don't know, I'm going to stop tripping over my words and just say it here. I sometimes get anxiety and have panic attacks. So there, cat's out of the bag, now everybody knows it. I've done a number of things over the last couple of years to help reduce the frequency of them, the severity of them, and really to, um, I'll say begin the process of eliminating them. They haven't gone totally away, but much more manageable. And I don't know what your experience with uh, panic or anxiety is like, but it can be very scary. We're going to talk about that in a number of videos going on um, later on down the line, but one of the things I wanted to talk about while I had good lighting and a good room is something that I discovered about two and a half years ago when I read Charlie Hohen's book uh, called Play It Away. He talked about uh, his own circumstances of how he worked himself into basically a work-induced depression. It was very severe, and he was having panic attacks and anxiety, and his book is how he naturally brought himself out of all that. Now, before I get into any of these details, I do want to give a disclaimer. It should be obvious, but I have to say it anyways. I am not a doctor, okay? I don't play one on the internet. I don't pretend to be one. I am just telling you my story of something that I discovered, and I want you to do your own research yourself before you try any of this stuff. That's all I'll say. Talk to your doctor, talk to a healthcare professional if you have uh, anxiety or depression or any any symptoms related to those. What I'm going to talk about is my own personal story, one very small piece of the puzzle that we'll uncover over future episodes that helped me to kind of unwind some of that. That's actually a really good term, unwind. So anyways, Charlie Hone in his book Play It Away talks about a uh, method that he came across uh, from the same book called TRE which stands for Trauma Release Exercise or Tension Release Exercise. And go out, buy the book, I'll put a link uh, below. I don't have any, you know, it's not an affiliate link or anything, just buy it if, if it's something that you're interested in because they go into a lot more detail. He explains the history um, through Eastern and Western medicine of how tension is stored in the body. And the one bit from the book, this is me paraphrasing again, that I will share, is he compares a combat veteran, so somebody from Iraq, Afghanistan, who saw or was part of a traumatic event and, ex and experienced PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. They had something happen to them rapidly that caused a stress response in their body that, that changed their physio physiology in that moment. It turned them into uh, a person who had a certain biochemistry and a certain physiology associated with that. He also compared uh, that person to someone who is a CEO of a high stakes, high stress company who had been in that position for 20 to 30 years who had daily stresses. Not anything as violent or rapid or succinct or as short or severe as somebody who experienced something in a combat stress related incident, but something that was more of like a slow drip over time. He said if you examine both of those people physiologically at the same time, the CEO at the end of the 20 or 30 years and the combat veteran, you know, once they were experiencing some of their symptoms, that there would be a lot of physiological similarities between the two of them. And so he goes in and talks in the beginning of the book about how your body physiologically stores tension. It stores traumatic events. And that could be something that happens suddenly, like the, vet, the combat vet example, or that could be something that's continual over time, you know, repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. And so TRE is, is the exercise that we're going to talk about that dials some of that back. So let's get into it. He has a number of exercises that he goes through in the book. I'm going to cut right to almost near the end of that, just because for my personal workouts and my own workload, I know where I need to begin to get the 80% solution for this. 
So I'm going to get right into that. So more details in the book. I'll provide as many details. If you guys have questions, just hit me up in the comments, but let's get into it. So the first thing that I do is I start with a five minute wall sit. And the whole point of the leg exercises that he has you do, there's about, I think, 12 of them. Um, I could be wrong on that number. But by the time you get to the end, the last one that you do is a wall sit. And at that point, your legs should be shaking to the point of quivering. Um, and that's, that's actually the quivering is how the tension gets released. So I will do a five-minute wall sit. And if your legs start to burn, you feel like you're getting, you know, it's, it's becoming too unbearable, move up a little bit in your stance. But you do really want to try and hold it for five minutes. So at the end of that five minute wall sit, what you'll do is you'll spread your legs um, out kind of in a, almost like a, a horse stance or like you're trying to stretch your groin and then you hang over at the waist. Um, I'll put my phone down and play a game or read something for about four minutes. So you do five minutes of the wall sit, then a four minute hang. Then when the four minutes is over, you get down on the ground and this is where the beginning of all the magic takes place. So again, he recommends time limits in the book, what you should be doing. I'm telling you personally, this is what I do. So I'll get down on the ground. The first thing you do is you put your feet uh, together in a butterfly pose. Legs are open on the ground. You're in a butterfly pose. And you will put your feet together and you'll flex your hips and your groin, your pelvis up into the air. And you'll hold that for one minute straight. So when the timer goes off, you relax. You let everything rest for a minute straight. And then you start. And when I say start, you, you set a timer for two minutes, and from a resting position, you bring your knees up like you're trying to close your legs. Bring your knees up about two inches, and you hold that for two minutes. When that timer goes off, you bring your knees up again. You hold that for two minutes. At this point, if you have a lot of tension in your body, you will feel, you'll feel the relaxed muscle and the, maybe the fat <laughs> jiggling in your legs a little bit. After, after that two minutes, so one set of two minutes, another set of two minutes, and then you go for 15 minutes straight. He says to not go over 15 minutes. I wanted to get the full experience, so anytime I've ever done it, I always go for the full 15 minute straight experience. So two, two inches, two minutes, two inches, two minutes, two more inches, hold that for 15 minutes straight. And it sounds like it's exhausting, but at this point, you might not even be able to feel it. And what's gonna happen is that your legs will start to shake uncontrollably. It's like a shiver, a quiver, when you feel really cold, you get that tremor from within. And he says in the book that the tremors are what actually release the tension. So this is where a lot of the magic happens. And I'll just chill out. I'll watch Netflix, I'll watch a documentary, I'll read a book, I'll text people, I'll whatever. But just as long as I keep my legs up like that, as they're quivering away, um, you will be okay. And he says not to go over the 15 minutes. Once the 15 minute timer has gone off, you rotate your feet down, so your feet were together, you put them flat on the ground, still keeping your knees up. And then I set a timer for five more minutes. He says, the quivering will start to work its way into your lower legs, into your butt, into your lower back. Don't be scared, that's fine. If at any point, if any of this starts to get really weird, he said, just straighten out your legs and the shaking will disappear. And that's true, it's been true for me, it's been true for other friends that have tried it. But if, if it freaks you out at all, just put your legs down flat, you're good to go. So I'll put my feet flat on the ground, knees will still be up, shake for about five more minutes, and then when I'm done, I'll turn on my side, I'll lay there for like a minute or two, and then usually because I do this right before bed, I'll go upstairs, brush my teeth, and I'll go to bed, and that's it. And that is my introduction to TRE, Trauma or Tension Release Exercise. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've ever heard of it, if you know somebody that needs to see it, I, this is obviously not a professional, again, I'm not a doctor, but please share this with them. Buy the book, buy Charlie's book, and we're going to talk more about stuff like this in some coming videos. So thank you for watching, guys. Love you.